he didn't walk into thunderous applause. The silence of 1,200 people, perhaps a sign of respect for Colin Powell. The Purple Heart recipient and advisor to four presidents is now also a cardinal, getting an honorary doctorate of public service degree from the university. This honorary degree pays tribute to the values of public service so ably exemplified by Secretary Powell throughout his personal and professional life. But Powell isn't in Louisville to pick up hardware. The nation's top diplomat is here to give what may be the Bush administration's toughest speech yet on seeking peace in the Middle East. President Bush and I are convinced that the Arab-Israeli conflict can be resolved, but that will only happen if all of us, especially Israelis and Palestinians, face up to some fundamental truths. Powell scolds both the Israelis and the Palestinians for failing to seek a peace agreement. Powell says the Israelis need to give up the occupied territories while the Palestinians must quit attacking their Jewish neighbors. Palestinians must accept that if there is to be real peace, Israelis must be able to live their lives free from terror as well as war. Powell says the U.S. is sending a former general to the Middle East to try and broker a ceasefire before trying to get Israel and Yasser Arafat to the negotiating table. Terror and violence must stop and stop now. Palestinians.